I've always been a metalhead, and being a loner, electronic music appealed to me. My name is Jeff Montalvo, and I DJ and produce under the name Seven Lions. Early on, I always had instruments around the house because my dad is a musician. We had pianos and guitars and drums. I first started playing in a band, acoustic guitar, and then bass guitar, and then I always wanted to be the drummer, so I finally was a drummer in a band, and that was my favorite thing. So I got into electronic music, playing in bands, and then deciding I really wanted to make music on my own. So with electronic music, you don't have to have a band, and that was very appealing to me. Being a metalhead, I really liked the darker kind of electronic music first, like the sadder above and beyond songs and the, the more somber Tiesto songs. So that was kind of like the start of electronic music for me. Being a metalhead, Opeth is like one of my favorite bands of all time. So I think the way that that translates to my music is like the, the idea that I don't like to stick to any one genre, where Opeth, you know, you listen to a 10 minute Opeth song and it's like beautiful acoustic music and then really heavy like black metal vibes and then like some really cool jazz stuff and almost some classical music all thrown into one. And for me, I find like the dynamics very interesting. So when I make music, I want it to be dynamic and interesting. And I wouldn't ever just kind of just stick with one genre because to me, like one BPM and one style, there's just too much to do out there musically to explore. So for me, it, it just seems natural to like want to make a lot of different BPMs. So the name Seven Lions actually comes from a book, Later on the Mist, and it's written by my favorite author, Gene Wolfe. And for me, growing up, I always read fantasy novels, so the idea of otherworldliness or escapism or surrealism, all those things are very um, entwined in things that I just enjoy. With Seven Lions, I really wanted to create a world that incorporated a lot of that stuff visually. So starting a record label for me was kind of a, I feel like out of necessity in the in the scene, there was no melodic bass record label at the time. And not that all Ophelia is is melodic bass, but like it just felt like there was a big, you know, space to be filled, just somewhere for me to release my own music. It's kind of like spiraled into this much bigger thing than I ever planned on it being. And now it's become more of a focus for me because I feel like I'm helping a lot of other people's careers and vision kind of come to pass. It's definitely become like quite a big focus of uh, my time and energy. And I've actually made my best friends pretty much from Ophelia, because we all hang out, we all talk a lot. And it's the first time I've ever had like a community in the electronic music world, because back before Ophelia, I was definitely very much a loner in the, the sense of like, I was this weird melodic dubstep trance, whatever guy who like, you know, there wasn't like a lot of other people who were kind of doing that. So I think it's, you know, Ophelia started out as just a way for me to re release music, but now it's like very much a community, which um, I really love. Thank you so much, Relentless, for having me play. Um, I'm about to go play my set at dusk, and uh, I'll see you guys out there.